Yo, what is up guys? This is Linksy here coming at you guys with another episode of our Let's Play Hardcore Survival Series and we have a zombie. Uh, just in case you guys did miss our last episode, we built ourselves a portal which is over there which is looking pretty darn snazzy if you ask me. Uh, we have a couple other things that we have working on too. Uh, but for today's episode, we're actually going to be going out into the nether and finding a nether fortress, which I've already found, which is actually pretty dang close to uh, where the portal is originally. I just need to go to sleep real quick. Uh, where the portal is originally, uh, where I almost died like five or six different times. So I think we're pretty much prepared to go. Let's just make sure that we, uh, we got everything. I think we're also going to bring a little bit of cobble just for some markers and stuff like that just in case we do get lost it's always good to kind of bring some cobble we have torches we have lots of pl plenty of food uh we got this is literally as many arrows as we have until the end of this episode where we'll be making a double spawner which is gonna be a zombie spawner and a skeleton spawner and we finally get to finish that today because we'll be able to finally get soul sand so let's see if we can make our way over to the world to the portal in one piece um, I really hope we don't die, of course, because this is hardcore. Um, but yeah, I really like the way that this turned out. It feels like a, it's like a very grand entrance to the portal, you know what I mean? It's all coming out pretty dang cool. Alright, so let's hop on in here. Let's make our way over to the fortress. And let's get some nether wart. And some other things. I'm wearing my helmet. Okay, thank god. Oh, actually, okay, so, something really cool about these guys that I noticed, uh, where is one of the pigmen that I'm looking for? Oh my god, this is a lot of, uh, zombie pigmen here. I don't know if this is normal, but this seems like a lot. I'm not seeing any of the other piglings. Feels weird, man. Whatever, we'll just keep going. There's a soul sand, uh, soul sand valley that we'll have to pass through over here. I've uh, I've mined out so much of the soul sand, uh, mainly soul soil. Uh, let's make our way over here. It's actually pretty tame. I honestly I was afraid of the the soul sand valley, but I feel as if it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, let me either right here. There we go. Okay, so it should be. R oh my god. It should be right over here. Oh, here we go. First guy. Wait. Oh, what? Wait. Wait, what's going on here? Can I not shoot that? Oh my god, we're getting wrecked. Oh my god. What the heck? We've just made it to the fortress here, guys, and we're almost dead. Yikes. Okay, so this is how this episode is going to go today. <laughs> that is, that will make you pucker. Something like that. Okay, are we safe up in here? So, one thing that I'm actually afraid of in here is actually blazes. So, I'm going to try to avoid those guys. Um, I love the sound. Oh, yeah, 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 markers. So, let's get some cobblestone here. So, let's mark the, uh, the exit. With a, uh, where do we exit? So we'll just do one of these. Do, do, do. And boom. That's the exit. So we know in the future. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. They're already shooting at me. Ooh, we got some bones over here. Okay, so I haven't really explored this thing all that much just because I almost died so many different times. It's kind of weird. There's like bone blocks inside of the fortress right now. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Okay, so we need to figure out where we would like to uh, travel off to. I kind of think I had definitely haven't been this way, but it doesn't really look like it goes anywhere. You know? What's over here? Hard to tell where we're at right now. Okay, there's some crimson. I haven't found any I haven't found the crimson forest yet Or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we'll go through here and we'll see where this leads us. Hopefully it'll lead us somewhere Somewhere, okay, okay. We'll just keep we'll just go down this way. Oh, and also markers this way 
So these things are pretty easy to like find. It's just cobble. We just have to make sure that we remove them on our way back. Chuffield. Okay, so let's come up here. Oh, so it continues. All right. Okay. Dudes. I forget. Oh, that's a creepy sound. I forget sometimes just how dark the, the nether is for you guys. Nothing down there. Hot damn. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a skeleton. Okay, we can handle a skeleton. Okay, this is what I want right here. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. The heck did you come from? So, a new thing with uh, withers. They actually spawn quite frequently, I think. But they always spawn on these, uh, these little crossroads. Oh, this is a bad spot to be at. Please excuse me. I'm trying to pull this guy over here. Without getting hit by the blaze. Because if you get hit with the... Oh my god. The lag. Oh god. Oh. Okay, this is, this is a little bit hairy. I can't even take on a... I can't even take on a simple fortress nowadays. Guys, I'm so scared. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll do that. Give me them toes. Come here. See them toes. Dude, did this blaze follow me? Holy crap, I thought that was a blaze. I was about to hit that guy. Holy cow. Alright, well this is exciting. I literally hate the nether right now. Um, everything's scary. Everything's scary. Where? Ooh. Nice. Just block that off. Let's come on through here. So that's a blaze spawner. That's actually fairly close. So I'm thinking this has got to be the way to inside of the actual nether forge. It has to be the way, right? I'm trying to place down. Oh, no. I really where is this guy I hear him hmm I hear you somewhere I am petrified of every corner I think he's down here Holy. oh oh my god that was a real scream. Why did I choose to do hardcore? Oh my god. Okay. Holy. Alright guys, sorry. I'm just trying to focus. I'm trying to focus on not dying right now. This is actually so scary. Ah! Wait, wait, hold up. Oh my god, stay away. Shoot. What is going on here? There's so many withers, man. I never get this lucky. And we still haven't we ha we still haven't gotten any skulls yet. Um uh, let's make sure we're still lighting things up. I I'm surprised we haven't found any chests. Oh, another warp. Here we go. This is what we came here. We came all this way for this boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the stuff. I'll take all of that. Doesn't seem to go anywhere. Oof. Alright. Oh. oh my god. I don't want to stop filming just because I wanna if I do die, I want you guys to see it. Because honest to god, I'm actually scared in the nether now. Before I was never that scared. I mean like before like the nether was like, ah, whatever, it's the nether, we'll just be safe. Um, but now it's just like holy cow. It's uh, actually insane. Like, I feel like withers move quicker. I know lava moves quicker now. Uh, there's just so many more dangerous mobs. Like, we, we need to find a bastion at some point. Uh, I haven't seen any bastions. I haven't seen any crimson forest. We still have a lot of achievements that we need to uh, achieve. Oh, what is this? Okay, that's just one of those. That's the end here. We haven't found any chests yet. Which is a little bit, uh, a wee little sad. But, I mean, hey, we got nether. 
Um, we got ourselves some nether, nether wart finally, so we could finally start making potions. Um, the main big one. Oh my god, that's the way we gotta go. The big one that we really, really, really want to do is uh, fire resistance, obviously. That way, we don't need to be scared of these guys no more. Um, stay back. Why do you gotta be right beside that guy? All right, ooh, blaze rod. Kill him. Okay, I'm gonna start making my way around this fortress. And I'm gonna see you guys here in just a moment. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> because I am actually scared. So, yeah, let's do this. I am such an idiot, guys. Seriously, I have a shield. Why am I so scared of these guys? Watch this. Let's make sure we look behind us real quick. <laughs> yeah, buddy. We ain't scared of you no more. I'm such an idiot, guys. What the heck? I have a shield. Let's use it. Oh, my God. I'm a little bit less scared now of blazes. Uh, but we are... Uh, well, we are... Um, we're definitely lost. I have no idea. I've been wandering around here for like five minutes. I, I don't remember where we came from or anything like that. But, hey, it looks like I found a new area down here. Huh? I'm going to just take all this. Thank you. And we're just going to keep exploring. If I find my way out of here, which I hope I do, I will see you guys, uh, I guess, in uh, just a little bit. I also see some bad guys out there in the back left-hand corner. So, yeah. Oh, guys, check this out. First time I've seen one of these. But look at that. There's a portal down there. Um, I'm still lost. Uh, I'm hoping that we find something that kind of gives away where we are so we can get back home. Uh, because right now we are, we are completely lost. I have no idea where, where we are. I mean, we haven't discovered the Crimson Force yet. I haven't seen that anywhere. So I'm not 100% sure where that's at. Um, this kind of looks familiar. Actually, you know what? It all kind of looks the same. It it, it all kind of looks the same. Let's be real. That's a really bad angle. Let's watch where we're going. Yup. Yup. Uh, but yeah. I just wanted to share that with you guys because... I'm lost, but hey, great news. We found our first chest. I already looted it, had some uh, some armor in it and stuff like that. Oh yeah, that goes nowhere. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try and, well, we're gonna try to find our way back home in one piece. Okay, so we know where we're at now, so we're not lost, but I wanted to share something with you. This is my own personal opinion, but I honestly think that these like, what is this? The, the Basalt Deltas are the most dangerous of all of these biomes. And I know what you guys are thinking. Magma, magma cubes, whatever. They're not that scary. But trust me, they're like perfectly adapted to the terrain. Uh, you as a Minecraft player trying to tra traverse this without falling into the lava, hitting magma blocks and jumping up and down all these things while dodging these massive magma cubes that split off into multiple other little magma cubes? Bruh. They're actually, I think it's the most dangerous out of all the biomes. I'm not saying it's got very, very dangerous mobs, but I'm saying it's got the highest possibility of me dying. Uh, take that as you will. Just saying. Shh. You hear that? I love the sound of the nether brick now. Honestly, it's really soothing. I can run on this stuff for days, guys. For days. I love the new audio cues in Minecraft. Thank you so much, Mo Yang. Mo Yang, Mojang, whatever you want to call yourself. Mojang. I think it's Mojang. Uh, but we're home. Uh, that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, yeah, it's Mojang. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're home. We finally made it back. Uh, let's try not to die here. Because I don't know what happened with that last gas, but you guys could clearly see I was hitting his... Uh, I was hitting his stuff. I, was, I thought I was going to return back to sender, but uh, no, I guess not. So hopefully you guys can back me up on that story. Um, but there's that. So we got ourselves some nether warts. So we'll be able to finally make ourselves some potions of fire resistance. And I think we're going to do that right now because we got lots of magma slime and lots of uh, blaze rods now. What do we get? Like uh, 
12 blaze rods so that's not a bad starting that's not a bad starting point for blaze rods uh, then I want to try and find a bastion because I would not mind finding some sweet loot up in this up in this piece you know what I mean that'd be kind of cool oh um, good luck for good luck come on hook a brother up yeah what is it all right all right buddy chill out that was gravel I swear to God he was laughing at me what is that <laughs> I've never felt so insulted in my life um but yeah we're back we're gonna we're gonna make some potions and we're gonna try and find a bastion I'll just feel a lot more safe if we uh, if we have fire resistance and it's raining it never rains I mean because we're in a we're in the mesa biome so it's weird to see rain I could still hear it that is so weird but I can't see it Minecraft you're so quirky I tell you so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this and I will see you guys in the next random moment uh, so um where's a good spot to put this barrel let's pop it right here nice and hidden pop. and we got ourselves some fire resistance potions we're gonna bring two into the nether we're actually gonna drink one now as we go in and I guess we'll just drop off our empty bottles in here I'm gonna keep one in our hot bar and we're gonna head on back so we done did that we made like nine potions of fire resistance we have three emergency ones inside mm. of our ender chest uh, just in case we ever find ourselves in a pickle um, but we're gonna go out here we're gonna find a bastion or we're gonna find a crimson root we're gonna find something uh, I want to find out where the, the closest crimson forest is um, and hopefully it's not that far away we may actually go through the warp biome I don't know so I will see you guys there when we do that because I want to get a bunch of blocks from there so see you guys in just a sec so I found it I finally found it uh, it took quite quite the run we also found ourselves another fortress uh, and we all this is the little guy that we found just down here so I'm a little bit uh, I'm a little bit scared I also looked at a couple endermen on the way in here too I'm not gonna lie um, I, uh, I don't know the best way to get over there um, but I think this way is our best bet and we got a couple a couple baddies so well here we go Are they, oh we have we have fire resistance how long do we have fire resistance on 30 seconds that's a good thing to know um, um excuse me what the f what was going on there what 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 did I just witness oh my god it was he wasn't even shooting anything at me he was just attacking me was he shooting at me I don't even know but he can't hurt me no more so ha holy these things when they get close to you do they punch you or something that was nuts I think he was punching me what the heck those things I didn't know that they could do that that was actually insane and you guys just witnessed that holy cow uh, slightly terrifying I'm gonna explore this guy real quick and see if we can find anything good um, and if we do I'll see you guys then oh my god we got the achievement I just wanted to show you guys that we got the achievement we did it mm -hmm. we are here and we're here in one piece uh, yeah so we got the achievement that's all <laughs> just wanted to say that oh my god guys so it's one of these um hogling Ho hogling or something like that these things are like, kind of scary bro they're aggressive they are aggressive man they don't give a fudge they'll attack anything near them this guy's actually pretty cool man he's chill um but we got some oh these guys i want these uh what are these like creeping creeping vines or something like that i ha i literally went through hell trying to get over here i'm not lying um it's brutal. I think we also have a pig down here. Where's the other guy? Mm -hmm. oh, that might be just him. They're pretty dang loud. I ain't gonna lie. But uh, there's a whole whack load of skeletons over here and all this type of stuff. Like, it, 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 like these guys. 
those guys are low-key scary, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, what? Yeah, we got guys sniping us? What is this? I haven't discovered this yet. There's so many things yet to be discovered. But I'm happy that we finally found one of these. Uh, because I want to get a couple of the wood variant. Because I think this stuff looks sweet. I love this. This is very, like, uh, ominous, you know? It's very scary. Spooky. You know, I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you, Mojang, for adding this to the new Minecraft update. Because this stuff is lit. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I'm just gonna collect a little bit of this. And then maybe we'll try and find our way back towards some more cool stuff. But, hey, we got the achievement. What is going on in here? I didn't know... Um, I don't want my fire resistance potion to run out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, skeletons lag way too much. It's actually scary. Oh, I guess I don't really need to block him. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to fight my way out of here again. So I'll see you guys in uh Oh man, we'll see you guys here in just a minute. I know I keep saying that, but it's gonna be one of those episodes where we're gonna talk a lot, we're gonna explore a lot. And we are gonna hopefully not die. So, yeah. Until then. What, what are we looking for? Oh, we need to find a bastion. Yes. So, hopefully we'll find a bastion here. So, unfortunately, we couldn't find a bastion anywhere. But we will soon enough when we get our elytra uh, in the future. But what we did find, nothing too impressive. But, what we did find was Soul Speed 1. So we got soul speed one out of all that. So that's pretty good. Uh, where's that? Didn't I have an empty bottle in here? Oh, I actually may have put that right inside here because I think I did. Yeah. So we'll just pop that back in there. Put those in here. Get ourselves all organized. You know, all that fun stuff. Make our way back to the storage room. And we're going to put our haul back in there. I will say this much though, guys. Wow. The nether is seriously scary. Like, seriously scary. Uh, I'm going to go put this gold helmet in here, actually. Uh, maybe we'll put the rest of this gold in here, too. It'll just kind of like a, like if I forget, you know, next time I come over here, we just, boom. Everything's all ready to go. Oh, uh, that's weird. Um, <laughs> but anyways, yes, let's go back to the storage room and put this stuff away. Because we have something exciting that we need to work on. Because we need some experience. Uh, we're going to get... A skeleton farm. I don't know why I'm looking down. I'm so used to looking down because I just spent so much time in the warp forest not looking at Enderman. Uh, trust. It was it was actually so scary. Um, but we got to make ourselves a skeleton and zombie spawn. Um, spawn. Uh, farm. Because we finally need some experience up in this, this world. And we found ourselves a couple spawners. Which I'm going to show you guys. And we're going to go dig out. Get everything ready for when we have enough time to build ourselves an XP farm. Uh, because it's around that time. Uh, and big, big stuff going on behind that wall. Not going to let you guys see what we got going on around there. But we're digging out this big space over there. And we're going to be working on something else. Huh? In the next couple episodes. So that's exciting. But uh, I'm going to start putting this stuff away. And then I'll show you guys where we found the skeleton and zombie spawner right after we dig them all out. Okay. Dun, da, da, da. We are here. Uh, it may not look like much, but trust me, there is a spawner in here. A skeleton spawner. So we dug this whole thing out. We, uh, we even layered it. We got a bunch of resources and stuff like that that we will have to move back to the base uh, eventually. Uh, wait, do we have arrows in here? Okay, no, we don't. I was just checking. Uh, that will be able to push all the mobs over down here into this little area where we got ice and we have water streams that will push them all the way over to a, an area over there. But let me show you guys what's up here first before we get into that. So what are, where do we got to go here? Right here. Uh, we got the zombie spawner right here too. So they're side by side, which means that we don't really need to stand too far away for them to both uh, be active. We'll just have to make sure that we're getting both the spawns at the time. But what we're doing with all of the uh, the spawns is we're going to push them over here into this central area over here. And then this pillar all the way up to the top. I will show you guys where that leads off to. 
which is going to be our kill chamber slash mob grinder, mob farm, whatever it may be. Because uh, sh we should be able to just stand over there and have everything spawning over here. If not, we'll try and figure out like where we actually want to stand in the future for um, op like the most optimal spawns and stuff like that. But I'm thinking like this may be our farming district over here since we have so many spawners and stuff like that. So we have that that we need to work on, which is super exciting. And now that we've been out to the nether... We can actually uh, use uh, some of that soul sand to push up all the mobs up into this central area over here. Like, let's see if we can jump up here and I can show you guys. So this this log right here symbolizes exactly where the mobs are going to become shooting right up. Uh, from there, we'll probably have to move them. Um, we may even have another water stream kind of push it over here. Because I'm thinking like right around here, which I think is right here. Like the zombie spawner is right there. The skeleton spawner is right here. And this should be like the perfect AFK spot right here. So if we bring them up and we push them over to this block right here, we could have ourselves a really cool looking area. Because this like, look look at this. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I, I get inspired by this. This is like a little, like there's a little hill right here. So that means that we can build like some sort of structure up here to signify that this is the mob grinder i don't know what we're going to do yet i'll have to come up with some really cool ideas or if you guys have any suggestions that you guys can leave in the comment section below let me know but i'm thinking like this area right here is also where we're going to end up building our tree farm because our tree farm is actually going to be massive um but before we do all of that first thing first we need to do the the skelly skelly zombie spawner uh, but before we build our tree farm i'm thinking like right here We'll build ourselves a nice bridge. Uh, another thing that we also are going to try to farm at this uh, this tree farm is the new trees in the nether too. I'm not too sure how that's going to work or if those are going to be a real pain. Because I know they have to be uh, grown on the, um, what is it, ni Nilium and uh, the crim like the moss. You, you know what I mean. They need to be grown on specific blocks and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll need to work something out like that. But the, the this tree farm that we will be doing... It's going to be a really cool tree farm. It's not going to be fully automated. We're going to make things look good in this world. We're not always about the efficiency and stuff like that. So we're going to build some really cool stuff. Uh, but we're getting ready for all that type of stuff too. I also need to remind myself. We need to we need to farm more pumpkins. Uh, because like, oh, I think we accidentally killed one. Okay, there we go. Uh, and we need to get more food too. There's so many things in this world that we actually need. It's so crazy. Um... And we need we just need to we need to just just start pumping out the videos so i think that's what we're gonna do guys we're gonna start pumping out lots of videos for you guys instead of doing the one day a week we're gonna be moving it up to maybe three videos four videos a week i'm gonna try and pump out as much content for you guys as possible because i think it's about that time that we kick this world and channel into overdrive so i think that's about all the time that we have for today if you guys enjoyed the episode please leave a like if you guys want to have more content by yours truly subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one this has been linksy peace out